Tamil Nadu. And we're getting more inputs on the J. Jayalalitha debt controversy. Now there's been a reaction from the AIADMK. In fact, senior AIADMK leader D. Jayakumar has said that OPS was the first one to raise a suspicion over Amma's death. And now he himself has said that he does not doubt anything. He goes on to say that unless we get the report officially, we can't comment. And uh, he also says that the way the government has leaked the report shows that the government is weak. He's talking about the DMK government in the state of Tamil Nadu. And when asked if he personally has doubts about the death of J. Jayalalitha, he says that for that only, uh, they are wanting the commission to probe. My colleague Purnima joins me on the broadcast for more. Purnima, the word there from AIA DMK, however, they are questioning the DMK government claiming that they have released the report unofficially. Absolutely. In fact, uh, D. Jai Kumar, senior ADMK leader, also a loyalist of uh, Edapadi Parnisami's mm. camp, uh, maintains that uh, they will not uh, uh, make a comment or react to uh, a select uh, leak from the government because yesterday after the cabinet meeting, an official press release by the DMK government said mm. that the Arumugasami commission that was set up five years ago to probe the treatment meted out to J. Jalilitha and in turn leading to her death, uh, inquiry against VK Sasikla and uh, former health minister, among others, uh, should be conducted, for which the DMK said that they will seek legal opinion from experts before taking a final call. However, the report is not made official and therefore ADMK maintains that till the 567-page report is made available to them, they will not react. However, when asked if uh, he personally believes that there could be any foul play in the treatment and uh, treatment of J. Jalilita, he says that uh, the commission was set up to probe that and that he will not react further. So those were the first comments that we got from the ADMK, uh, from the Edapadi camp, even as uh, the other uh, senior leaders have so far maintained silence on this issue, saying that it's uh, it shows the government's weakness because they are only uh, leaking a select portion to get political hmm. mileage. Right. Apurima, the fact that when AIMS has come out with a report and they have actually cleared any sort of uh, conspiracy theory, they are saying that the death was a natural one. The DMK government is still going about uh, when it comes to the probe. On what grounds are they doing it? Because here, the, they are actually trying to go ahead and get uh, people like Sasikala in question. There are three other people who are being claimed that they should be probed in this particular matter. Well, before the state assembly polls, uh, M.K. Stalin, while on a campaign across the state, had in fact promised the people of Tamil Nadu that his first step after he uh, comes to power, and if he comes to power, is to ensure that there is a fair and thorough probe into uh, the treatment given to J. Jayalalitha before, uh, before she died. So that was one of uh, the campaign strategies that the DMK had uh, followed. And even after the Arumugasami Commission, while the entire report is not out, the Tamil Nadu government has uh, only uh, uh, has only in fact released one portion of it which says that inquiry against VK Sasikla, former health minister and also an EPS loyalist Vijay Baskar, uh, former chief secretary Ram Mohan Rao and uh, Sasikla's son-in-law, all the four should be questioned among many others. Uh, among others. That's something that uh, the commission had uh, said in its report but the entire report is not made available. Uh, however, the DMK, ADMK says is trying to use this as a political mileage and uh, when we spoke to Sasikla's camp, sources from the Sasikala camp, they said that uh, the commission in the first place wanted to point fingers at VK Sasikla. Things like why were the, C uh, why were the CCTV uh, cameras off when Jailalta was taken to Apollo, all those still remain unanswered even as Ames had given a clean shit to uh, Apollo and the treatment given to her. There are certain questions that still remain unanswered including CCTV cameras being switched off when Jailalta was taken to Apollo. Mm. All those are the loopholes that the commission could have in fact highlighted in the report is what the Sasikla camp maintains. Those were on the expected lines is what we are hearing from the Sasikla camp at this point hmm. in time. So Purnima, is it safe to say, going by this argument of D. Jayakumar also, that the DMK <laughs> government in the state is trying to keep a matter alive even though it might just be long dead because of the probe that's come out by Ames. Because here, while going ahead and attacking the Stalin government, Jayakumar also refrains from commenting on, on the entire controversy. 
Absolutely. Jai Kumar also, uh, while uh, speaking to CNN News 18 a short while ago, said that it was O Panni Selvam who raised suspicion over the death of J. Jayalalitha in the first place. And when he appeared before the Arumugasami Commission, uh, and after that he met the media and made it clear that he personally does not have doubts and he trusts VK Sasikla, uh, who was with Jayalalitha during the entire uh, process. And he, in fact, uh, made a U turn saying that he does not uh, raise any doubts over the treatment. Uh, given to Jayalalitha. So, uh, D. Jayakumar also added that while speaking uh, a short while ago and said that uh, the commission was formed uh, to probe the case and why is the entire report not out? Why is the government uh, giving only uh, a select or why is the government leaking only one or two points from the entire report for which uh, they really have to read the entire report before making their comments? That's what the ADMK says. But uh, DMK uh, wanting uh, to keep this alive, which is why after uh, the cabinet meeting they made, uh, they in fact released it uh, through an official press release and that uh, the ADMK says is a political mileage and a way the DMK wants to continue to keep this topic alive going forward as well. All right, uh, Purnima, thank you so much.